This is Erzenjan, a modest corner of our beautiful country. We were happy once when the wind and the leaves of the trees in this city used to play. They seemed to whisper the happiness of the people who lived there. Then one night, one dreadful night, it looked as though nature was jealous of this beauty and calm, and it turned the whole city into a heap of stones and ashes. There was an earthquake. Not a tree was left upright, and those who survived were threatened by cold and hunger. But no sooner did the calamity take place when someone came running to the aid of the people in this desperate, stricken city. It was the Red Crescent. When the first aid squad came with canned food, clothing, and tents, it was quite a moment. Have you ever stopped to think what a Red Crescent tent is worth? We are sure it is worth a thousand palaces in times of disaster like this. So if you want to have a chance to share in one of these worthwhile things, enroll now in the Red Crescent. Once this city was very gay, but one night a tragic situation presented itself to take revenge upon these happy people while they were sleeping in their beds. Little babies, young brides, fathers and mothers, and the entire population were victims of a terrible earthquake. All the people of this gay place were destroyed by this terrifying act of nature. Such disasters, you know, may come at any time. But remember that the Red Crescent is always ready to serve such victims. Don't ever forget the Red Crescent, for its benevolent service is always at such times when disaster occurs. Part of the service of the Red Crescent is to train nurses so that they may be on hand when such emergencies occur. These angels of charity, trained under perfect discipline, open their arms to the victim. This old woman here, as you will see, will show her appreciation by kissing the hand of this young nurse, and it shows a symbol of the Red Crescent and its gestures. For your best friend of hardship, Always look to the Red Crescent. <laughs> it is in the most unexpected moments that men are confronted with accident and disaster. Imagine how unbeatable it is when such calamities such as earthquakes and fire make worse the existent hardships of the poor caused by winter. Well, the helpful hand extended to them under such circumstances is that of the Turkish Red Crescent, sustained by the kind aid of the Turkish nation. It does its best to help immediately all those that meet with disaster. As you see now, it conveys food and fuel from its stocks by the most rapid means to those who are in need. It should not be forgotten that the first light to shine in the darkness and dreadful calamities is always that of the Red Crescent. The Red Crescent is a sharer of difficulties and a helper in the days of disaster. Join it, therefore, in your happy times. It is a human duty to become a member of the Red Crescent.
The modern kitchen you see here is not one of a large hospital or a modern hotel. It is the kitchen of one of the canteens set up by the Red Crescent as an aid to the poor in their days of hardship and misery. Thousands of people are served hot meals with high calories here and in many other similar canteens. It is a humane and benevolent duty to help the Red Crescent canteens so that they may continue to function. Be sure to extend to the Red Crescent all the help you can afford. Enroll in the Red Crescent if you wish to have a share in the joy of these three babies that pass with happy smiles on their faces, or in the happiness of these old people and children that go gaily along, or of that little girl that claps her bowl of soup so tight, or that of these mothers, orphans, cripples, widows, and miserable old men. The Red Crescent is a sun rising over darkness and misery in search of the weeping, do not forget the Red Crescent in your days of prosperity so that it may help you in the days of your hardship. In olden days, when the Red Crescent did not exist, the philanthropists used to lay their superfluous possessions aside. But now that there is the Red Crescent, which undertakes all sorts of charitable affairs, give your superfluous possessions to it as an aid. The Red Crescent, which assists all those that meet with disasters, such as fire and earthquakes, is also the friend of the poor and homeless. It gives food to the needy people in the canteens it sets up. Enroll in the Red Crescent if you want it to continue its activities and to develop. You may repent of many things but not of becoming a member of the Red Crescent. Just as water puts out fire, so the Red Crescent does away with pain and suffering. Remember the Red Crescent in both your happy and unhappy days. The contributions made to the Red Crescent in days of prosperity are paid back a thousandfold in times of disaster.